I don't have a lot of truly hard trophies, but I managed to pull off a couple of them that I would call respectable. All of them are from action killing shooter type games, because this is the type of games I like to play, but I think that the tips I will be giving you can be adapted into other genres as well. I think that the first and most important part is to manage expectations, and I learned it the hard way. I'm sure that all of you are talented gamers, but there are modes and difficulties that are notorious for a reason. When I decided to try myself with the grounded mode in The Last of Us after watching a couple of videos on YouTube of people just breezing through the game like it's nothing, I was sure that I have this in the bag, because if this guy can do it that easily, then I should be able to as well. There is no way that he's just that much better than me. But Lo and behold, he was in fact just that much better than me. But on the flip side, when I was going through Uncharted on Brutal, I knew that it was going to be hard, so I had a different mindset, which resulted in me trying to have a good time and listen to a podcast while I was doing my best to get through the game, which resulted in a much more pleasant experience. Plus, what was actually super helpful was admitting that I'm not a pro gamer and sometimes it's okay to rely on some of the more questionable tactics, like, I don't know, cheating? Ok ok, I don't mean it literally, but what I mean instead is using exploits that are already in the game to give yourself that much needed break, especially if the game itself doesn't treat you fairly. Easiest example, there is a trophy in Alien Isolation for completing the game without dying, and I don't want to say that it's impossible, but it might as well be, because the alien can and will kill you in one hit. And because he is extremely unpredictable, you can't really pre-plan and learn your routes, even on the easiest difficulty. But you can make it so much easier on yourself if you save scam by simply double saving and reloading a previous save in case of your inevitable failure. Another example is using a glitch and giving yourself infinite ammo and one-shot kills in Uncharted to make the brutal difficulty manageable. And yes, I did all that because whether it was intended by developers or not, it is in the game so I might as well make use of that. And I know there will be somebody that would disagree with me and I respect that, but I'm not one of those people who would torture myself by going through Inferno difficulty in Resident Evil 3 without the infinite rocket launcher just to prove to myself that I could. At the end of the day, I want that platinum and if I decide to do that for the challenge, I might, but this is not my goal at the moment. And I think it's very important to have that goal in mind and dedicate yourself in order to maximize your chances of success. Look, there is a reason why despite teasing it multiple times on the channel, I am yet to attempt getting my blue whale, main Libin trophy in Wolfenstein New Colossus, which if you don't know what it is, it's for beating the whole game start to finish on the highest difficulty without dying. And there are no save scams like in Alien Isolation, in fact there are no saves in this mode at all and it is as difficult as it can be. And the reason for me putting this off for so long is simple, I just don't have the time to properly dedicate myself to this challenge. When I was attempting to complete Max Payne 3 Spermadas mode, I was stuck at home during quarantine and this was literally the only thing I was doing for about 2 weeks until I beat it and by the end it was pretty manageable because the muscle memory was kicking in. I remembered every single enemy placement and I practiced every level and encounter multiple times a day, so I was rarely surprised by anything. Of course I would still occasionally fail, even in the practice runs, but I can confidently say that I got good. But I honestly don't think that I would be able to do it if I played for a couple of hours a week, because I know that I would have enough time to forget some of the important things that I learned. What I'm trying to say is, if you decide to tackle some of the hardest trophies, you need to be prepared to put in the time. That being said, sometimes if you're too hyper focused, it can be detrimental to your success. I remember trying to beat the race in Mafia Definitive Edition on classic difficulty over and over and over again for about 3 hours, getting nowhere and growing more and more frustrated with each attempt. I remember being so annoyed that I thought that I'm just lacking the skill to do it and I switched the difficulty to normal, voiding all the progress I made prior to this point. But in reality, all I needed to do was to take a break for a few hours or a few days, because when I was working on my backlog a few months down the line, I managed to beat that same race on my fourth attempt, and it's not that I suddenly became great at racing, I was just calm and focused after taking some time off from the game. By the way, the same thing happened when I was trying to complete Sniper Elite 3 on authentic difficulty with a friend of mine. We just couldn't get past mission 7 and after throwing ourselves at it for a few hours, getting more and more angry and frustrated frustrated, taking a few days off resulted in success. I guess it all comes down to this delicate balance of managing expectations, using all the tools you have at your disposal, 
dedication and taking time off when needed. What are the trophies that were so hard that almost cost you your sanity and how did you overcome them? Let me and others know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.